search is on for the killer of an imam in Newark. The New Jersey Attorney General saying there's no evidence to suggest the murder had anything to do with bias or domestic terrorism. CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports there's a $25,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest. They took a good brother. And they're going to pay in the eyes of Allah. Pain and anger at Masjid Muhammad in Newark as worshipers come to grips with the death of their imam, Hassan Sharif. He had a beautiful mind and a beautiful heart. Prosecutors say Sharif, who had been an imam here for five years, was gunned down Wednesday as he approached his car parked behind the mosque just after pre dawn prayer. He later died at the hospital. So for somebody to, to, to do this to him, they just have to be heartless. Timothy Bynum is Imam Sharif's uncle. So they waited for him to come out after prayer and, and assassinate him. That was an assassination. Bynum and worshipers like Queen Mecca Muhammad say they believe the Imam was targeted. He just asked them to move from this masjid to not sell drugs. Law enforcement sources tell me investigators are looking at every lead, but it is too early for a motive. Bynum says the imam said he was attacked months ago. An attempt was made on his life and, and uh, he managed to wrestle the gun away from the guy, but the guy got away. He wasn't afraid. afraid. No, he had the heart of a lion. But at the same time, he was as gentle as a as a lamb. The mosque has released an official statement on Facebook. I want to encourage you to please just be uh, mindful and sensitive uh, to the family right now. We, we're hearing a lot of things uh, that's going around, certain narratives. Law enforcement sources tell me they're looking through surveillance video, but that right now, much of that video doesn't show exactly what happened. Meantime, worshippers here at the mosque are preparing to say goodbye to the imam, who by Islamic guidelines must be buried within three days of his death. In Newark, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News.